Hi everyone, it's me. It's time to cook again and today I'm going to cook duck, braised duck. I'm going to butcher it first myself. No pressure in there. Once you find the, once you find the, the joint and then let the knife work for you. Surprisingly, it's still very young. Four months is the right age. Must have been a boy duck. Yeah. Small Maybe breasts. He's no breasts. <laughs> most of the, most of the. Look at that. So I'm just. It's very skinny. Very not very. It's, because it's organic. So. And so I'm just going to brace them all together. And this is about a kilo, kilo and a half. So by the time you remove. But if you count the meat, I mean, if you count the bone, it's a kilo and a half, so... I'm leaving the duck bone for next uh, cooking for chicken, not chicken, for duck stock. It will be, it will be great. So, and then this one, so now I'm just drinking off all the excess fat. Not very much excess fat, actually. Okay, you don't want it's, too much. Um, Fatty and duck, fat yeah. is very thin. Well, we everybody knows that fat, that duck is fat corn, not even grown in Italy. So, so I'm using, I'm adding more spice in this one. So, yes, sir. That's why the spice trade was so big in the old days. Yeah. Okay. Or not only in Italy, all over the world use uh, black, black pepper corn. Why do you think the Europeans wanted to go to Southeast Asia? They needed the pepper so okay. they could spice so, up their food. So, so I haven't tell you, I haven't tell you the ingredients that I'm going to use for bracing ducks, but this is my way of bracing ducks with orange, of course, and uh, onions and, and uh, the, the spice is very important for this is, um, is the star anise and then um, what's this name here? <laughs> oh, Some sort of onion. Lower. It's a it's a lemongrass. Lemongrass. I which I'm just going to to wash it to, re to release the uh, the flavor and then fold it. Yeah, if you can find. Hold it because this will will uh, go get inside the pan and then just like that it's like it's like a bowl it's like a bowl that's gonna go into but before that let me see if the pan is hot so I'm not putting any oil here at all while I seek to sear the meat because it's got fat in here so the natural fat from that will uh, go out, will come out as it's seared. I, so, thought, I thought we said it was a skinny duck. Well, it, <laughs> it's sexy duck, not skinny. <laughs> this is part of the bracing. The juice of the orange will be part of the bracing duck. And then I need a zest as well because the orange will give it a beautiful flavor. It's like cutting the fat. So I may need two oranges actually for this because they're very small. So I'm only taking them. Put the other ingredients like ginger. Again, I'm putting all together like that without even peeling the ginger because I'm going to, to strain it the sauce on the top letting it soft a little bit while the while the uh, the duck is bracing I give me plenty of time to do the, the side dishes which is uh, beetroot I find it beetroot is the best way to serve the duck because it's got natural sweetness with it and of course, this is because I, I, very proud. We grow this ourselves, so we we also we can also use the uh, 
the leaves, the thin leaves for our greens, which uh, mm. we can mix, which I like Be to mix greens. it with. Mix with these two together. Kale. Kale, Russian kale, I know. <laughs> Tim says there's no uh, political face in here, so how would you say it? Russian kale? It's, it's not flying the flag. <laughs> There's so easy to put. I'm going to roast this in the oven. Yeah. Look how beautiful they are. Everybody tells me that beetroot is supposed to be so very good for your blood as a blood cleanser. So these are. Well, now we'll go to dig my aluminum foil. Aluminum. Thank you. Aluminum. Alumino in Italiano. What? Look at the, at the label, so, it says alumino. Where I'm going to roast this in the oven with rosemary. Rosmarino in Italiano. Oh. <laughs> Working instead of breakfast. Okay, so olive oil. Olive oil again. Salt and pepper. So you can always um, adjust it for your taste. We don't use much salt, I'm saying. Like I say. So again, drop it. And now we're ready to go to the oven about 220 degrees. This is probably 220, even 250. We need higher temperature. So, a lunch pouch. Yeah, so, and then the next prep, prep, prep the, the tail. I'm just going to quickly blanch them and, and uh, there we go. We'll be ready in one the duck is ready. An hour and a half. I checked it after one hour. So it took me an hour and a half to come to this stage to hold it. The meat is falling apart, so I'm move, removing it from the, which will be the sauce, which is a wonderful, great gravy. 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 And and if you do this, you may have to adjust the uh, cooking liquid that I will be giving to you after the after I after my lunch. And. The reason for it is because it will all depends on the size of the duck, the size of the leg, the size of the breast. So size does matter. <laughs> so here, so I'm putting it back. I'm putting back the sauce to the pan where I cook the meat, the duck, and I'm also putting the, putting the duck back because I want, I don't want to get cold while I'm preparing the rest of the side dish. So, there it is. Leave it here. This is the beetroot. Been cooked in the oven for 50, let's say one, 50 to one hour to be safe. 50 minutes to one hour to be safe. And, and because again, it will depends on the size of the beetroot, and it will depend how you cut it, how you slice it. And there it is, wonderful cook, nice and soft. So I'm going to the sink, just getting it out of me. Oil, only the best. It's toasted. Well, since I've gone through this special meal, that is so I thought cook the best of everything. Put the best of everything. So I'm just quickly sauteing the this green leaf on top of the cutting board. Oh, wonderful! With beetroot Only, with beetroot leaves. Yeah. So mm, the smell, the aroma, it won. So this is. And now I can wait to sit and enjoy. The leaves just wilted. Look how, how it is. 
So here is my busy, busy kitchen. I'm almost ready. Is the, the breast that go considerably very small after it's been braised. So let me put one of the that. That's liquid. Put it here. Underneath. That's the one, that's the leaf, that's the leaf, and Oop. this is okay. Mm -hmm. Orange for garnish. Well, Just a... garnish should be edible. You can eat this afterwards. Want some flowers? That's a maybe. So Hello. So today, a little break in tradition before we start talking about the wine. We are hungry. And this is, smells so delicious that I think we already poured the wine to breathe a little bit. I'll tell you about it. So we're going to say Cheers. Cheers. Here's, here's to the greatest cook in the world. At least, at least the one in the greatest cook in Piemont. So, um, without ado, mm. I'm going to have a little sip of wine and then we can start eating and then I'll tell you all about the wine. Mm. Mm. So, let's, let's have a taste. Tickle the taste buds, so. Pickle. Mm -hmm. Pickle. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah. You know, ah. When I was a child, I never used to like to eat beetroot. I don't know why, but maybe it was the way it was cooked. But this beetroot that Rena has toasted, or whatever she did, the oven. <laughs> toasted. Oh, can't remember what she did. Oven it, and it is delicious. And now okay, for, and eat it. Um, now for a little taste of the duck. Mmm. Oh. 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 Mmm. Mm. I know how to uh, please you, I hope. This is the way that I like my duck to melt in my mouth. Cheers. The judgment of Rena. Oh my, it's time to analyze my own food. Please do. The, um, the ingredients I put in here, the spices and the lemongrass, and ginger, and orange and all, all of those, has none of them are overpowering. They are just blending all together. And as a result, it's just wonderful. I do hope you tried it. I wish we try for your one of your repertoire. Bon appetito. My thing that I'm a bit strange because I love the duck and meat to fall to pieces in my mouth. Uh, but for me, undercooked duck, which I see on television shows, it's so tough and chewy. Uh, but then I'm actually not really a meat eater, so I don't like rare steaks and things like that either. So for me, this is just absolutely delicious. You can taste the duck, Rena's braised sauce and everything she put into it, and it melts in your mouth.